This video will serve as your pre-seminar video for principles of season extension. We will run through all four principles and highlight examples throughout this video. The first two principles of season extension are seasonality and warm season versus cool season crops. The first principle of season extension is seasonality. So what is seasonality? Seasonality in relation to our crops is encompassed by characteristics of that crop or species that defines its growth cycle. Seasonality in general is determined by the amount of sunlight in a day, temperature ranges, and climatic factors such as precipitation and wind speeds. As a grower, seasonality plays a strong role in crop market value and the way in which you grow and market your crops. So how do we define seasonality? Throughout this class we will define seasonality in three different ways. One is by frost dates, two is by latitude and longitude of the region that you're growing in, and third is by USDA plant hardiness zones. Once we understand the seasonality of our region, we can focus on principle number two, which is warm season versus cool season crops. This is a distinction that divides our annual crops into two categories. Crops differ in temperature preferences, growing conditions, and their frost resistance. By understanding these differences in crops, we can select for and plan our crop management and rotational successional harvests. By definition, warm season crops are crops that prefer both warm soil and air temperature. This is typically a temperature of 65 degrees or higher. Some crops are even considered hot season because they prefer soil temperatures of 75 to 80 degrees. They can also withstand a lot higher temperatures throughout the summer, up into the 90 degrees. Cool season crops, however, are crops that prefer cooler temperatures, lower than 65 degrees. They are typically 15 degrees cooler than warm season crops, and they can often germinate in very cold temperatures, such as 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. We will focus on many cool season crops that you will learn about in your book and throughout our lecture. There will also be a specific video that focuses on cool season crops. This cold frame would be an example of our third principle, which is non-temperature control. The reason that it would be non-temperature control is because it is used for solar radiation. One basic example of temperature controlled season extension is using a greenhouse that's heated. So this is our greenhouse that is heated. We have these extra kerosene heaters that will turn on if the regular propane heaters are not heating at the right temperature. We also have fans and convection tubes to cool the greenhouse in the summer. And here are some seedlings in the greenhouse and in the hydroponic table that would all be considered crops that were grown with some sort of temperature control. These seedlings represent one of the four principles of season extension, which is controlled temperature methods. All of these crops have been started in our propagation chamber which is a cart that has lights on the top of it and has trays that will hold water for our seedlings. So as you can see, there's a reservoir of water for our seedlings and they can be started under this chamber with a heat controlled method. They were started about two weeks ago and can then be transplanted into the hydroponic table or out into the field. 
This will conclude your pre-seminar video about principles of season extension. We will go much further into these principles and discuss the implications of these principles in our practices.